Welcome back to Let's Play A Boy and His Blob. We're here in the Citadel, where we need to take on the challenge levels. So let's head down here and throw ourselves into the light. What's up next? Ah, yes, the cog. Well, I've got the berry balloon, the licorice ladder, and the... Ah! The strawberry sherbet shield. Now, let me just remember the button. No, it's not jump. Okay, yes, good. Hey, wait a minute, that's a hard edge. I'll allow it given the circumstances. He has different timing than the others. But it all amounts to naught in the face of the impenetrable shield. What the fuck am I going to do? Ladder him to death? I can't ladder and, uh... Okay, uh, this is a problem. As I know from experience, he'll run into the shield and turn around, but that won't solve anything because I can't drop the ladder while I'm holding the shield. And the only place I think I can get the ladder up to is that one above him right now, so... Fuck. Ah. It's supposed to be a foreground element. He should be able to walk past it. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Ready? Hurry, Blobbert. There isn't much time. gonna run into that and turn around because it's not ideal. But I think I can manage it anyway. Ah, up! Thinking the final boss, the, like the the emperor, would be uh, somehow reflective of us. Like he feeds himself jelly beans to telegraph his attacks or something. Oh, I've eaten this jelly bean. Like he's making jelly beans in his uh, factory that weaponize blobs. Like 
flipping a coin, only stupider. Oh shit, I didn't jump off of it. No, the thing's right there. Oh. Okay, this one wasn't too bad. It's mostly matters of timing. Was almost too close. But yeah, we just need to keep out of his goddamn way. Oh yeah. He just tanked those explosions expertly. I thought I was going to be something like using the ladder to jump over that guy. Hey. Now I suddenly wonder if I can do this. Oh, right, yeah. I have to be below that to make that work. Oh, and I can't go back down. Okay, um... Third time is the charm. I should probably have the shield before I do that. Oh. Doesn't even flinch. This kid is an expert. I think I wonder if that's a... Whoa, Jelly Bean. I got overexcited. Lifesaver! You have just realized that, that robot there looks an awful lot like the mech. Inspiring of that. Thanks, Blobbert. through it all, did I? Ah! Hey. Uh, 
No, no, that, that won't work either, because I can only have one at a time. One jelly bean. While I'm down here... No, I didn't think so, but you know, worth a shot. Yes, that is exactly what I was trying to do. I still didn't manage to, I still didn't manage to jump on the one where I actually made it. But I'll count it. Alright, All right, that wasn't so bad. That just required thinking and cleverness. Not like timing and precision. I'm kind of surprised we haven't been getting things that look like screaming portals for the Hell Dimension. That looks like a Shantae level. Honestly, I kind of like that design better than this one. I assume that it's five, six, and seven form a single thing, and then eight is, uh... Oh yeah, boss, uh, concept art. Maybe this is the screaming portal to the Hell Dimension. <laughs> okay, we've got the berry balloon and the... Oh boy, the Kira, the cream cannon! I didn't even do that on purpose! Fuck! How is that supposed to work? Fine, here's a slightly different angle, I don't know. Well, at least they're all dead. This feels stupider than usual. Okay, yes, if I fired straight up it would work, but... Alright, I just had to aim to the angle I was convinced would hit the other guy on. No! Oh. Ah. This level seems silly. I'm not even sure they're asking me to do. Right on the stick that entire time. For the record. God damn it. 
That doesn't even make sense that it didn't set off the others. That one's right next to it all the time. I did hit it that time. Fucking... Okay, that happened. Stop. Can I make it up that jump? Barely. Oh, that's just fucking death right there. This way. This way. Okay, just checking. Okay, I'm not gonna complain. better that fucking time, I'll tell you that. This way. Sure, that works. Oh. Ready? Gotta go. That does solve that problem. Thank you. What's the rock there for? I need that, probably. Huh. I'll push it down in case I need it. I guess this will help round that guy up. What do you call it? Corralling them?
This way. Hmm. Oh, I didn't think you'd have that problem this time. Sorry about that. That jump seemed more reasonable than the others. Alright, that feels good. Actually less frustrated than when I started today, which I was not expecting. Oh no. Huh. That is an item. Maybe I can interact with it now and... Okay, yeah, I guess they're not doing the three thing here, unless the last three of them are. Water skipper. Pop and shoot. Bean bird! They just call them floating damage? That's a terrible name for an enemy. Tongue, evil clone, bruiser, cannonball. They're actually called cannonballs size comparisons. They didn't do the water skippers, though. That's a shame. It's an interesting design. I guess they decided they didn't need an enemy that only walks on water since the water is already deadly, huh? Well, I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play a Boy and His Blob. There's only a few more challenge levels left to go, so we're not gonna give up, and we're gonna keep pushing forward. Till then, later. <laughs>